Our next grammar point is adjectives. Before we take adjectives in Hindi, let's define what is an adjective. An adjective is a word that describes a noun. For example, in the phrase, a beautiful garden, the word beautiful describes the garden. That's why beautiful is an adjective. Similarly, a small baby. The baby is described by the word small. That's why it's an adjective. A big city. The word big is describing the noun city. So big is an adjective. Let's take adjectives in Hindi. There are two types of adjectives in Hindi, variable and invariable. The variable adjectives change according to number and gender, and the invariable adjectives stay the same. The variable adjectives have ending a for masculine noun such as bada, big, chota, small. The invariable adjectives do not have the ending a. For example, sundar, beautiful, garam, hot. Let's take variable and invariable adjectives separately in details. Let's take the variable adjectives first. The variable adjectives, as I mentioned, change according to number and gender. The masculine singular of the variable adjective ends in A. It becomes A in masculine plural and it becomes E in feminine singular and plural. Let's take the adjective bada in all its form. Bada means old or older. The adjective bada becomes bade in masculine plural and bade in feminine singular and plural. Let's take the adjective bada with nouns. Bada beta, older son. Bade bete, older sons. Badi beti, older daughter. And badi betia, older daughters. Similarly, the adjective chota is masculine singular form. Chote is masculine plural and choti is feminine singular and plural. Let's take the adjective chota small with nouns. Chota shahar, small city. Shahar is a city and it's masculine. That's why it is chota shahar. Chote shahar, small cities. Here, shahar is in plural. That's why the adjective is in plural. Chote. Chote shahar, small cities. Note that the masculine noun shahar, a city, does not change in plural. It stays the same in singular and plural. It is the adjective that changes, changes in plural. Chota shahar, a small city, chote shahar, small cities. Similarly, choti nadi, a small river. Nadi is feminine, that's why it is choti. And choti nadiya, small rivers. Here are two examples of variable adjectives. Lamba, long or tall. Mota, fat. Kala, black. Pila, yellow. You can see all of them have the ending a. Ah. Let's now take the invariable adjective. As I mentioned earlier that the invariable adjectives do not change according to number and gender. They always stay the same. For example, sundar, beautiful, garam, hot. The invariable adjectives do not have the ending a. That's why they stay the same in all the forms. Let's take the invariable adjective with noun. Sundar, kamra, a beautiful room. Sundar, kamre, beautiful rooms. You can see here that the adjective stays the same for singular and for plural, sundar. But the noun is changing in number from kamra to kamre. Sundar kamra, a beautiful room. Sundar kamre, beautiful rooms. Sundar nadi, a beautiful river. Sundar nadiya, beautiful rivers. In all four forms, the adjective stays the same, sundar, beautiful. Let's take one more example, garam, hot. Since the adjective garam does not end in a, it does not change according to the number and gender. It stays the same. Garam desh, hot country. Garam desh, hot countries. Interestingly, in this example, both the adjective and the noun do not change in number. So both the singular and the plural forms are the same. Garam desh, hot country. Garam desh, hot countries. However, in a sentence through the verb, the context will be very clear. It will be clearly expressed in a sentence whether it is singular or plural. And for feminine, it is garam hawa, hot wind. The noun hawa is feminine, but the adjective stays the same. And finally, garam hawai, hot winds, the plural form. So again, you can see that the word garam stays the same in all the forms. Here are a few more examples of invariable adjectives. Mahan, great. Shant, calm or quiet. Lal, red. Saf, clean. Here you can see that none of these adjectives have the ending a, so they are invariable. They do not change at all. <laughs>